so me, um, I was going to say bowl me on Sunday. Um, I played them once before in the cup, so you've got a good idea of what to expect. Yeah, obviously yeah, experienced side. Um, we used that game as a bit of a marker for us and, and took a lot of notes and, and information away from that game to help prepare us for this league game, which, which is the, the bigger game for us ultimately. But um, yeah, they've got experience, they've, they've come down into this league, but they've got players that have played at that level and they know what it's about. So we're going to, again, there's no easy game, so it's um, go again sort of game and, and be ready to, to take it to them on our home pitch. Obviously, going off the back of a great win against Northampton, four goals against a good Northampton side, so you've got a lot of confidence going into the game. Yeah, Northampton wasn't easy. I'm sure the result, everybody looks at results and think, well, it was an easy game. They're a young side, they're a lot different to last season, so you could see certain things within the game, but they're, they're a good side. and. We had to battle for that 4-0, you know, it was it was 1-0 for quite some time, but I thought we, we, we played superb and, and we handled that situation well and um, we're going to have to go again this this week and we expect another tough game and, and you know, sometimes it's just one goal games, it's, it's all you need. So, last time we, we started slow and we can't afford that. We've got to come out quick and we can't afford to go a goal down so early. So, we've learnt a lot of lessons over the last week or two. Uh, and I think the team's gaining experience and momentum and confidence is high at the moment. So uh, that just needs to continue, really. And obviously against Northampton, um, obviously scored all those goals, great result, but also that clean sheet and defended really solidly throughout the 90 minutes. Is that something that you were looking for particularly? Because, you know, we haven't kept a clean sheet before that this season. Yeah, uh, that, that's huge. That clean sheet was everything. and and. That's down to everyone's mentality. And when I say everybody, you know, people look at it and the goalkeeper, it's, it's everyone from front to back, how you defend from the front right through and the mentality that you have to fight for that nil. It's no different to being one nothing down and trying to get that equaliser or nil nil and trying to get that winner. You, you should fight just as much to keep a clean sheet because you can't get beat if you keep a clean sheet. So we're turning that mentality really. And as you saw, uh, I think starting 11, talented bunch of players, but then look what happened when we brought the, the subs on. They impacted the game so positively and we didn't skip a beat and that's an exciting position to be in because those players came on and did every bit just as good a job as the players before them. So that's what's needed again this weekend and, and the players are starting to realise that and um, that momentum's building. And, um, two home games but very different locations, obviously Moreland's compared to the EPC, very different playing surfaces. Does that change your preparation? Um, the players love it, the EPC. The experiences we've had there and the positive results we've had there, it's, it's a great. And, and Baldmere, you know, they'll enjoy being in that environment too. But um, Kind of, yeah, because when you go to Moorlands, when we first moved there, the, the players struggled with it. As you see the facilities we train on and the pitches, and it's one of them where you need that extra touch. You need to keep your eye on the ball, whereas on the certain surfaces, you don't need that with a football inside. But it's not an issue for us. But I think Moorlands catches the opposition out quite a bit, or it helps the opposition depending on the style of football that they play. But it doesn't phase us anymore. We, we've discussed that before. But... I mean, we trade on good facilities anyway. The EPC, it's a phenomenal facility. It's a privilege to play there. The surface is fantastic. And we are a football inside, so not really. It, it, it kind of goes into what we're about as a footballing team. Uh, we're not a front-to-back team. We like to play through the thirds. We're, we've got creative players, dribblers. And, and so the EPC, the players are buzzing to be there again, just as they are in the stadium, really. So, no, we're, we're really looking forward to it. The players are looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it. And, and why would you not be off the back of last Sunday and then that facility as well? So, no, it's, it should be exciting.